Hey chums, welcome back to the Game With Chums podcast where we talk about video games and other nerdy things. With me is my ever faithful psychic, Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross, how you been? What have you been playing? Have you been enjoying the sun? Like, you're looking very sexy at the moment. As, As always. Yeah. Um, I've been enjoying the sun from the confines mm. of my house. Yeah. Not really going out, but um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a bit nice bit of weather, hasn't it? You've been showing a bit of skin there, Mr. Ross. I like it. Yeah, you've got to get the guns out because <laughs> the sun's the been g- out. Guns out. But... <laughs> sun's out, guns out, yeah. Also, first time on a podcast to have a beer. Yep. Um, I have a... Well, not... I can't show the... the uh, <laughs> the beer itself but yeah it's a beer yeah it is a beer we're recording this a bit late uh because we got um not a special guest but we got a guest it's our first guest we're gonna have but at the moment what have you been playing um i think i mentioned on the last one i started playing life is strange before the storm so i finished yeah. that yeah very good there's a post credits um cut scene that is straight up evil and i didn't need that yeah um, and I started Outriders because it literally just launched straight into Game Pass. It's in Game Pass, very yeah. B tier game, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, cool! And watching, I just finished watching Jujutsu Kaisen, which was yep. really good. I really enjoyed mm. it. What about Excellent. you? What you've been playing? What you've been uh, watching and doing? Apart from our, our, our live streams, where I've been playing with our mutual friends, we've been playing Among Us. We've played the new map of Among Us, which is really good fun uh I, and i've been um live streaming a lot of apex besides that not anything i've not been playing anything else i, I want i've been meaning to play um outriders but uh i've got to get around to that um what i've been watching is again uh falcon and the winter soldier really good and caught up with uh, attack on titan i'm just about to start the season four and um because it's easter weekend here i've just been eating a lot and drinking a lot <laughs> and I have family around here, so this is why it might feel, feel a bit rushed because uh, I've got pacey. people coming. Yeah, so I don't want to. This is the one time I can't be antisocial. I have to go and socialize <laughs> with people. So um, yeah, but um, gaming news. What's been happening in the world of gaming, Ross? Come on. I think the big story is uh, MLB the show launching into Game Pass. Okay. Which has made some people very upset because it's a Sony Oh, party it's a Sony game. one. Yeah, it's a baseball yeah. game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the first year it's been on anything other than PlayStation. So it's made by a studio they own. Mm-hmm. And I think the thinking is that the MLB have kind of said, no, we want this to be multi platform now because right. obviously it's the MLB yeah. game. Yeah. And it's they just announced it's coming to Game Pass day one. So it's like, mm. If you're on PS5, it's $70. Mm-hmm. If you're on Xbox, you can pay the same buy, or you can just play it on Game Pass. People are very upset. Yeah, yeah. Very, well, very upset. Okay. Um, I think that's about all, because we, we this is, uh, we've recorded this like not w- twice every week, but this will be coming out the week after this is recorded. Uh, so not much else game news is about, but like I said earlier, we do have a special guest. Oh, I don't want to call him special. He's no one. Oh, let, it, think... let him be special. He's no one po- important, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this is. He's ex- important in our yeah. hearts. He's ex chum and a very good friend of ours, um, Dan. Dan, do you want to show your face and say hello to everyone? Hello. How are hello, you guys doing? Dan. Hey, mate. You're looking very well there. Thank you. I, I love how in the same sentence we had ex chum and close friend. That's the- <laughs> <laughs> well, in our last podcast, I don't know if you listened to it, we talked about the origins of the YouTube channel, and you were very much a part of that. You, it was actually you and Rory that came up with not come up. You came up with the concept of starting a YouTube channel. Um, so you're you you are like the nucleus of how it was, and I sort of you asked me if I wanted to do it, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Don't know, yeah. yeah, it was. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's just annoying how sort of life kind of got in the way with work and doing shift work, and it kind of you know stops you yeah. from being able to plan or do anything regular, you know. Um, yeah. well, it's but, all right, man. We're not there to grill you about that. We're just like, we're just <laughs> that's not the, what we brought you telling, on for. Yeah, telling oh. the telling the list of listeners <laughs> like who like you were a part of the, the, the channel. We're, we're all still on good terms. It, it didn't, it's all you didn't tell you. yeah, yeah. like we still like meet up for beers and like cuddles and stuff. So, speaking of, I hope so you got a beer then. I have, I'm a second one in, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so no, that, I think the um the, the channel when it started was it's going back a few years now, isn't it? I mean, it was 2017. 
Wow. 2016 More, when we started thought. that. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, mm. We've done quite a lot of different things, talking about horror and you know, random party stuff, games. Yeah. And We got yeah. very drunk as well because we'd record pretty much all day. We'll come we'd around. start at like three in the yeah. afternoon or something and record till like 11 at night and just drink the whole time. We will record around your place like pretty much for the uh, one whole day and just, just drink and eat. We got in the... It got a bit messy sometimes. Not messy yeah. is like we threw up on each other. Just messy. Sloppy. Like we, it got a bit sloppy, yeah. Slurry. Mm. It's always a good excuse to drink. But anyway, how you been, man? Like, like what you've been playing yourself? What have you been up to? Uh, so recently, um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've been playing a hell of a yeah. lot. Um, up to nearly a hundred hours on, mm. on the clock. Um, other than that, I've been enjoying multiplayer games again a lot. Um, as you know, I've been playing yeah. with yourself and other yeah. friends of Among Us. Yeah. Um, a lot of Dead by Daylight, which Dead is by Daylight. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that's yeah one. kind of been like a, a great golden nugget that came up out of nowhere, being that it came out what 2018. Yeah, that's another game that's free on Game Pass for us. Yeah. <laughs> so you've had to pay for that one. I got, I got to. No, play actually, no, no, no. I found it in my library. I was going through uh, my. Oh, like, you still paid for it, though, didn't you? You still paid well, did that did that you paid for it, didn't you? Well, from the it was a free game on PS Plus. Ah, fair enough. Right. So but yeah, no, I, I generally never even heard of it to be honest. No. Um it was only looking through, I was like, oh, okay, that looks interesting. And being back into the whole multiplayer game thing, it was a good, good chance fun. to sort of get with friends yeah. and like like you said, Among Us has been a very like it's a good good game to play with a bunch of friends. Was it maximum ten players? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. It's just like we play it quite quite differently. We don't. We used to mute during when we were playing as killers, but now we don't mute. So we, used we to just play talk. properly. Yeah, we used to play <laughs> properly, but I find the way we play it is more fun. And that's what it's about. Yeah, you, you play it to have fun. Um, it's very, even when it's, we play like hide and seek. Yeah, it's very like when we when we play it because when you when we, we're still talking and when we get killed we just carry on talking so we're just like oh okay i'm dead and then we just carry on <laughs> talking and it's like it's, it's quite surprising when you play it and you go oh you're dead oh i didn't realize because like sometimes people might go oh I'm shit or something like that but lot, now we're just so used to playing the way we play we just like we just carry on we turn into ghosts and carry on doing our tasks the banter keeps flowing the banter keeps flowing and that's what it's oh, all about yeah yeah <laughs> As there's the odd <laughs> F bomb when someone dies where you maybe had a few drinks, it comes end of the night and you oh fuck and you yeah. kind of give it away, but yeah, yeah. we're quite good at <laughs> keeping it under wraps. So. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's quite you think it'd be easier to find out who the killer is, but it's actually like it, it's not no there's no it's not it doesn't make it easier to find out who the killer is. No, I find no. just blame Dave or Phil. Just blame Dave or Phil. Um, I, yeah. Even if it's Dave, I mean, we normally quote I, Phil off. Bless him. I, d- I do like the way we like. Even when Dave like comes up with a plausible like explanation, we should still all, like vote him out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, th- have you guys streamed this? Because you should. Well, yeah, I streamed it. I've got like about three live uh, three streams on the Twitch channel, mate. Really? Uh, yeah. Shows yeah. how much attention I'm paying. Eh? Yeah. I mean, I've got like we got like forty five followers, nearly close to affiliate now on 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 twitch five more and we've met we've met every, there's like five like um checks you have to meet to become affiliate and we've only one away from mate from, from being affiliate which is 50 50 followers so, so go and follow our twitch yeah game of chums follow it now do it or dan will come after you and do some jujitsu on you <laughs> yeah. get fit again first but um the, the, the main the main topic we, we, we was going to talk about is the uh it's a very touchy subject, but I thought, why not? Let's tackle it head on. It's the the age old, which which companies, which console is the best? Xbox, PC, Nintendo, or PlayStation? And Dan, you're very much a PlayStation fanboy. Am I right? Or am I wrong? <laughs> I guess <laughs> am I right it comes or am I down wrong? to it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say. It. Yeah. Um, I've just I've always been a PlayStation guy. Um, yeah. it's always just stuck with me. Um. Yeah. You know, I've always had that sort of feeling of, do I get a gaming PC? Do I not? Um, it's always just been a daunting thing to get into when yeah. someone like myself knows really nothing about it. So, hmm. 
Well, what do you like about PlayStation? Like, what makes you, what's made you such a fan of Play? Obviously, the games, right? So I think, yeah. I mean, other than like when you look back on like NES and SNES and games consoles like that, when I was like, you know, just a wee nipper. Um, yeah. Like the PlayStation One was the first console I remember picking up and getting excited for new games coming out. Yeah. Um, and every time something new came out, like a new console, it's always like the latest PlayStation. You was already in that net of you was mm. trapped where it was an excitement. So, so did you start from PlayStation 1 or did you come in in like PlayStation 2 era? Because that's no, no, the I... era I sort of fell in love with the PlayStation. Was, I think for most people, PlayStation 2 was like their one of their biggest, uh, was probably their biggest, one of their biggest consoles at the time. Was their biggest console at the time? Uh, I think the PlayStation 4 sold more though, hasn't it? Still I am, I, am, I, am I wrong or am I right? Um, I, no, I think the PS4 is below PS2, but I don't think there's much in it. I think oh. the PS2 was somewhere around like 130 million. Mm. The PS4 was, I think the PS4 is somewhere over 100. Because the, yeah, the PS, the PS2 dominated that gen. It was, yeah. it was huge. It's huge. It's, it's like I think it was the first console that had. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the Atari had. Was it the laser? The they had the CD-ROM, the the disc. Was it the first oh, ones the to have it? PS2 was the first one that had DVD. And that's it, PS1 yeah. and the Saturn were the first ones to. Yeah, that's what I meant CD. to say. Yeah, I yeah. think there were other ones that were CD as well. Mm. Like mm. There were earlier stuff like the um, Mega CD and stuff like that. But mm. the main ones were like the Saturn and the PS1 had CD. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. The... I love the Saturn. Obviously, there was like the CDI and stuff like that, but who cares about that stuff? Uh, yeah. What game? What I games... love the Saturn too. It's amazing. Yeah. What did, it's what, such an underrated console. What what um what 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 console what, what console group do you fall into, Mr. Ross? Because I know we know you love the Se- you used to love Sega, and that's what kind of made you go fall in love with the OG Xbox. Yeah, I was I've kind of bounced all over the place really. I was a big Sega fan as a kid. Mm. There's my Saturn stuff behind me there and Dreamcast. Mm. No, Dreamcast is that side. Mm. Um but yeah, I, me and my brother got a master system one year, I think Christmas 1990 mm-hmm. maybe, and we shared yeah. that. And then Christmas 91 when Sonic came out, we got a Mega Drive between us. Mm-hmm. And um, I think like a couple of years later than that, we got a SNES, like a joint SNES. So I had both of them for a while. And then my brother got a PS1 when that came out and I got a Saturn because obviously I knew Sega was going to give me the games I liked. And then from that to the Dreamcast, which I still love. Um, And then when Sega killed the Dreamcast, I kind of fell away from gaming for a bit for a while. I was 18 at the time, I think. I was sort of doing my A-levels anyway and stuff like that, and I didn't have as much time. And um, I did end up picking up the OG Xbox because my three favorite Sega franchises at the time went to that, which was Panzer Dragoon. Jet Set Radio and Shenmue all went to the OG Xbox. So I thought, mm. oh, I should probably get one of those. And then I saw someone playing Halo in HMV on like the demo kiosk thing. And it was a silent cartographer level. And I just, I didn't even play it. I stood there and watched them play for like 10 minutes. Just thought, why is this? This looks incredible. So I got an OG Xbox and then that's kind of been my main since. But I mm. tend to end up with every console mm. in the, over a generation. But the Xbox yeah. is my main, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, like I said, I, I, I probably like when most people started with the Nintendo. I think my first ever console was the I- I- NES. Well, I got like Mario, like Donkey Kong, and all that. Uh, Duck, yeah, Hunt. The, Duck Hunt, yeah, obviously, like, yeah. I mean, like Super Mario One, uh, Two, Three, and Legend of Zelda, and all those classic ones. Um, but yeah, like, I would probably like at the moment, I would say like my main two machine is probably xbox but um like with the with the, with the debate is like and it's just justified the, um a criticism of xbox is just that especially last generation they had no exclusives really do you know what i mean like um playstation really like i was impressed with the with the sheer quality of games they, they produced last last gen like i can you can list like a top 10 of like the best like the the best uh, ps4 games and you probably miss out a few i mean off the top of my head like you've got, got ghost of uh, shishima last of us 2 um god of war well uh, yeah yeah god of god of war i've got that and i've still not fucking played it yet incredible game yeah 
Sorry, Miss uh, Gibson. Like um, uh, uh, Horizon. Her Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. Horizon Obviously. I did love. That came uh, uh, like um, and like pers like the Persona Persona games. Even though there is a rumor they that's that's come that's come that might come to Nintendo. It even might come to Xbox, but it's still, like the PlayStation first party uh, studios killed it, and they pretty much like wiped the floor of um, Xbox. Even though like the Xbox had a like especially the xbox one x was a really good machine which they should have probably released instead of the the the, the, the vanilla xbox one that would have been really well, good i mean there was there was four years between them so they couldn't have yeah but i know but still it's just like it looked better it was a better mach looking machine it wasn't so clunky it was better it just looked better i know like if in design terms it looked it just looked better you know what i mean i think i think the reason the og xbox one was so big was because they kind of Shat themselves after the Red Ring of Death. The they had a massive gen. fan with it, it. Okay, let's just make a big box and put yeah. a big fan in it. It just didn't way. look sexy. Even the 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 um, PlayStation Four looked better. I love the place the way the PlayStation Four looks. I was like looking at that. Hey, you're, just, you're a sexy beast. You are. Like, I like the slim on. version. Oh yeah, yeah, the slim, slim version. version is smart. Yeah, but I always find that with with um with PlayStation, whenever they release like their slim models, like even from PlayStation One. They just absolutely nailed the design on the slim and the original is always slim is absolutely yeah. nuts. Yeah. And I the originals always seem to be a little bit ugly. You know, they're always big, chunky, like the PS3. I mean, that well, thing was like a bulldozer. You, you, you talk about chunky. Have you seen the PS5 now? It's fucking huge, man. <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> Everyone was running down the Xbox uh, Series X for being like what? quite big. And like the, the, the PS5 is like Almost like half of the size bigger than the fucking Xbox. I still it's think the eye of sour on above it. Uh, it does look like the PlayStation. Well, oh, sorry, I think the PlayStation Five still a myth. I don't think it exists. <laughs> no, no I one. Mean, we know it might as well one. not exist. No Dom one we know one. owns one. Oh yeah, Dom, Dom does. One. Yeah, yeah. I I think he's lying because I never seen but him play. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe him. I don't believe that guy, man. It's just like yeah. I, I look every now and then, and it's just impossible to get one. It's just crazy. I was reading yeah. today, apparently, um, on the 6th of April, which I believe is what, Tuesday, um, new stock will be dropping for the UK. Um, how true that is, I, I don't know. Um, Probably be like five consoles. But with that being said, my, um, my manager at work, he managed to order one um, only last week, brand new, um, from, am I allowed to say names? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, is it uh, AO? He, he got it. He ordered it, and it turned up three days later. Yeah. Um, but they had such a limited stock. I mean, by the time he ordered it, they were gone. You know, he just the got thing very lucky. You've, you've, you've got to get so lucky to get one. Mm -hmm. And I, I was thinking because last gen, I basically I bought the Xbox One at launch, basically for Killer Instinct. Mm. And then I thought, right, I'll get the PS4 whenever I have the money. And I I had the money the following April. And I was like, well, I'm going to get one eventually, so I might as well get one now. And they were doing a free upgrade for FF14. So if you played it on PS3, you got the free upgrade to PS4. So I thought, oh, screw it, I'll just buy that. I'll buy that and play that on it for months until something comes out I want. And I was thinking I was probably going to do the same this time, like get the Series X. I don't know, I'm pointing, you can't see it, but it's there. Uh, I'll get that at launch, and then maybe like April, May, the following year, I'll get the PS5. No chance. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. no chance. So, you just you've got to be so yeah. it's just it's pure luck to get one yeah so what what do you think like because um i want to get more into the debate of like like the, the you know the console wars what do you think what um what, what do you think one company does better than the other say like um obviously like playstation we can all at the, at the moment say that their first party is just is better they produce they especially last gen they produce better games but what can we say that, say, like Xbox does over PlayStation or Nintendo, uh, or even play, um, PC? What what can we say like they they've they've done better? I think, I think the two things that I would say was Game them. Pass, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> game, yeah. game Game Pass and back compare. Yeah, because okay. I mean, Game Pass is just ridiculous. Like Outriders just dropped a few days mm. ago, brand new game. Save me 45 quid. I had it pre ordered. I don't mm. need to spend that now. I'm going yeah, to spend it on beer instead or something. Yeah. And um, 
you know, all the all the first party stuff's going to come into that as well. I mean, it already is, but like you've got Bethesda now in the first party, so mm. next Elder Scrolls games is going to be on Game Pass. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, um, yeah, Game Pass is a good one. I mean, like Dan, what what as a, as a PlayStation fan, what could you say that maybe like other companies do better than PlayStation? Uh, do you know? I think above all else, I, I, I have to say Nintendo. They have it absolutely down to a fine point when it comes to like party games and and fun. Mm. Um, mm. You know, I feel like other consoles because they're like triple A games. They're big. They're like really story driven, like yeah. cinematic. You know, yeah. Nintendo have always been fun. Um, yeah, and anyone can pick up Nintendo, mm. and even if you don't game. You could do like you know you have like parties and people can pick it up and just get involved. Um, yeah. I think that's one thing that yeah. they do that no one else yeah. can do. Yeah, I, I agree. Like like in terms of like fun sort of like niche games, they they do quite well as well as their technology. They do very neat. Like look at the Switch, like a handheld mm. like um, a portable console which is quite powerful and they can you can move the controllers and everything. They they, they 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 didn't have that much success with the Wii U, but they had very good success with the Wii, and that was in, in what's the word I'm looking for? In innovative, in innovative. Yeah, yeah, they're very like they with their technology. They they like to think outside the box. They might yeah, not produce the most. They're not they might not copy someone yeah. else. They'll just they don't produce the most powerful, but yeah. That's so the thing. You've got PS4 and the Xbox One, and for all intents and purposes, they play. 90% of the same games. The vast majority of games are like third-party games, like big stuff like GTA or Assassin's Creed or whatever. Yeah. And um, Nintendo could do that, I guess. I mean, they have done in the past up until the GameCube. They were pretty competitive on like console power. And then after that, they were like, now we're going to do our own thing. And then, you know, out comes the Wii, which I think is still the best-selling home console ever, I think. Yeah. It was fucking oh! It was fucking cheap when it first came out. It was like it was less than a hundred pounds. It was less than a hundred pounds, I think, when it first came out in about. I think I think it launched four or five. One eighty. Two thousand and six. I think yeah. I think it was somewhere just under two hundred at launch. Oh, was it two hundred? The Wii. One eighty rings a bell. The Wii. The Wii. Not the Wii. Yeah. Wii. All right. So I just I remember it being cheap as hell. Like, yeah, I mean that is still cheap under two hundred mm. quid. I think I bought mine for like. I bought mine in 2010 for like 130 quid with like three games or something, mm. which is kind of crazy to think about. When mm. was the last time you saw a console at that price? I mean, last gen's mm. consoles never dropped anywhere near that. Mm. I think they maybe got to 200 quid in sales and that was the closest they got. But, mm. but yeah, I mean, I guess it was probably a cheap thing for them to produce given it was two GameCubes duct taped together as the meme goes. I think as well, something you, you going back a little bit, what you said for when you mentioned handheld, I think especially in the UK market, like you see PlayStation that have had like the PSP, the Vita, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. although they've been fun and I've enjoyed them, no other companies seem to do the handheld stuff like Nintendo. Like you look at the DS, a DS alone. I mean, mm. I would still pick up my DS now and the, the, the life span of it is just unbelievable. It lasted mm. for years and years. Mm. You could put um, that thing in a yeah, drawer for a year and it would still work. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, incredible. N N Nintendo was just like, well, people move around and they want to play games. So why don't we just make a really powerful handheld which people can take around? I mean, how big is it? It's like this big, right, really. So you can fit in your bag. You can just pop it out. I mean, I wouldn't pop, take it out when I'm on, on a train in London or something because it's probably going to get <laughs> like someone's going to like, nick it off you. But um, yeah, it's, it's like, What's the battery life on it? About five hours? Um, Three to five, depending yeah. on what you're doing with it. So, yeah, it's, it's Which great, is like, pretty similar to the Vita, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. I love my Vita. And Sony have just killed the store off the Vita. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they that was should have that been that, that should have been part of the news. It should have been in the news. Yeah. But, um, I just want to I just want to take this moment to say, God, I love the Vita. That's actually my favorite yeah. Sony system ever. Yeah. It is incredible. Thing. Yeah, the V the V is good. I, I really like the PSP. I thought the PSP was good. PSP was but, great as well. Mm -hmm. It's just a shame that now they now I, I think handhelds are probably a thing of the past now. You know, like, outside like, of Nintendo, yeah. Outside of Nintendo, I mean, like PlayStation have killed it. Their their handheld uh, Xbox are doing their sort of like uh, 
or what they do. Xcloud. In Xcloud, where you can play your games on, on your mobile, which is pretty cool. I still yet to try that properly, but I would like to. But um, let's get it. If um, what would you what would like you like to see? Like uh, say like what would you like Xbox to do? I mean, I, I'm pretty much sure like people want to see Xbox produce more first party games. Which, to be fair, they bought a fuck ton of studios, so <laughs> just, a just a few. So they are they are looking, but I, I think people want they want the 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 sort of God of Wars. They want the Last of Us. But they want those AAA like cinematic games that Sony do, and like last gen, I think Nintendo, Nintendo, Xbox will produce or are doing those um, those uh, sort of like Sea of Thieves sort of life services, sort of more sort of like they want it to be more of a, like a online sort of um, uh, games. They want to make it more online games. But Dan, if if for you to get back into Xbox, what would what, what would it take for them to do? Do you know what? It, it, it's funny because, like, in personal, I'm going through a process at the moment where I'm having to get rid of a lot of different things. Um, and the one thing that I, I've kept is my original Xbox stuff. Um, like, I've got a, a small collection of games that I would never get rid of, and I would yeah. still play them even now. Yeah. Um, you know, I think for me, with gaming consoles, the thing that I've been screaming for years is just cross-platform multiplayer. Mm -hmm. You know, it eliminates like this whole sort of bitchy thing on the internet where people get into arguments over what's better, and it's just like you know kind we of, all play games. Kind of debate that we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like at the end of the day, you know, people play games because it's fun. You escape, mm. you know, um, and to be able to sit down, I think that's why as well. I I stayed with PlayStation because all my close friends are mm. PlayStation guys and. You know, I play games because I want to play games with friends. And if I went over to Xbox, I couldn't do that. Whereas now, that that's a uh, you know mm. something that happens. Like even yeah. when we play, yeah, but like that, you're you you're sort of skirting the question there, then, because like, what would uh. it take for you to buy an <laughs> Xbox? Like, um, what would they go? What would go? Oh fuck! I want to play that. Unless I want to buy a, a, a PC, which you're kind of debating, I have to get an Xbox. What will make you go? Hmm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this console because I want to play this, and the best place to play it is on the on an Xbox. What would it be? See, I think at the moment, like with the latest consoles out, I don't think there's anything that make me go. Do you know what? I wouldn't buy it. I think it's just I'm purely a creature of habit, and I think with when people buy stuff, people go with what they familiar to. Um. And it's awkward because, like, Nikki, my partner, she's always been an Xbox person. So, like, when we got together, it was like... I had she's not, she's not allowed to have Xbox in them. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's on, not. Yeah. Uh, I had to break her <laughs> of that habit. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, yeah, I, I think I'm just a creature of habit. So, you know, Xbox could do everything right and more. Um, but I, that's just me. I'm, I'm a creature mm. of habit. And I think with, like, the Game Pass... Although I don't know a huge amount about it, every time I'm hearing people talk like you and Rory, and you know, it Pretty sounds like you know the people. perfect perfect thing to have. It really is. Uh, it really is a good thing to have. I think. I Mr. think Wolf. child me would have lost their mind if they had access to Game Pass. Oh, I hmm. think we're. This is probably true for all of us, but you know, like when you're a kid, you'd maybe get one, maybe two games a year if you're lucky, and then just rinse the <laughs> crap out of them. And um, just imagining now, like paying ten quid a month and having like two hundred games to choose from, and new stuff coming all the time is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And um, but um, I was going to I was going to touch on something else as well. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I I predict <laughs> an Xbox in Dan and Nikki's future anyway, because uh, Nikki's a massive Fallout fan. Yes. And when the next Fallout comes out, Nikki's going to have to buy one. I have to buy say, one. like. Recently, I did have a moment where I was like, how ridiculous when you think of on the initial release date in the UK for the PlayStation to when restock comes available. It's like, you look how long that is, and it's like nearly half a year. It's like, but mm. I could go out and get an Xbox tomorrow. Um, and Xbox, I have been tempted. Xbox Series X. It's still pretty you hard. Series, uh, you could get a Series S fairly easily, but Series X are, are, are difficult pretty to difficult come to come by as yeah. well. But again, with like the cross-platform, it's 
what I've always wanted. I I have been tempted, and there has been mm. a part of me that's like, I want it. I want it now. You know, I want to mm. play all these games like in better mm. frame rates and mm. you know, refresh rates. And mm. I have been tempted. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, that's cool, Mister Ross. What 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 do you? It's hard for us because like we both own. Every, you you have a gaming PC. You have a uh, Switch. You have a PlayStation. Uh, you have an Xbox. Actually, but, I don't have a PlayStation at the moment. You I have a my PS, yep. my brother. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> got rid of that, didn't he? But Giving like, it away. At the, at the moment, you I, I do remember you 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 wasn't you weren't killing yourself to try and get a play, PS4. I don't even think you tried to get a PS5. Did you? No. You were you were just like, well, I, I mean, I, I didn't have the money to get both. And, yeah. So you made uh, the decision to like get the uh, Series X. Well, I play Halo 5 multiplayer pretty much every night. So, mm. I mean, I suppose I could have just carried on playing up my One X. Mm. Um, but I, I, just, I wanted the new Xbox. So that's what I got. And I thought, you know, down the line, I'll probably get a PlayStation. Mm. And um, like I say, I got the PS4 four months after it came out, four months mm. after I got the Xbox One. Mm. And um, I didn't use it that much. I probably played a dozen games on it. And I'm kind of... Part of me is hoping that Sony takes PC more seriously this gen because they've been talking about sort of um, exploring it and they've put Horizon on PC. They've announced Days Gone, I think it is. Days Gone was on PC, yeah. 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 And um, I'm kind of hoping they just end up putting all their stuff on PC. Even if it's like a year late, I can wait a year and then Mm. I don't have to buy a second console that will just kind of... but I, honest, I kind of feel bad buying a console yeah. and only using it for exclusives because it just kind of sits there unused oh. for months. I, I don't see Sony fully committing to the PC. I don't that's know. What, that, that, that's, what make, that's what makes Sony stand out a bit more. from like me, I think, because you, you can't play it anywhere else. With Xbox, you can play it, if, you can play it on PC uh, if you've got a, a, a good gaming PC. With, with Sony, a lot of the games are tied to their console, so that's what makes it more appealing. I, I think like I was like oh I want to play these games. That's what made me like not made me want to buy. I was like oh man I got to get a play. I have to have a PS4 because there's so many good games out on there. So last, last generation they killed it. I was like I got to get this game. I got this game because it's not it's not out on PC. It's only on PS4. So I was like I got to get this. Got to play it. And it is yeah. like the UI. I don't think is 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 great. I've never they've never I've never been a big fan of the PS4 PlayStation uh, UI. Um, but I do like their like um, their themes. Like you can download a theme and have the like the music and the animated backgrounds. That is really good. And I, I feel like with Xbox that they should have something similar because like you, you can like yeah. have. Like, I wouldn't mind something like that. I yeah, had a could, Final Fantasy Seven theme on my PS4. That I quite like. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah, yeah. I had the um, the one where they're all standing there at the bridge, and you have the uh, was it? What, I've what got theme? that. But, yeah, That's like they all, cool. yeah, the, the whole gang standing there and looking yeah. into the horizon. I think it's Avis's theme that is playing in the background. I think it had when you move like across around the icon, yeah. it has like the menu sound. Oh, you, like moving I, around the menu. I have no, I, I don't, ha- I had that and I've got the Tifa's one, so it's got Tifa's theme, you know, when she's looking up into Tifa's, the sky with the stars when she's up oh. there. Is it like the, the yeah, water, water tower? The water, water tower, tower and, that's the one. Nebel, is it Nibelheim? I think, yeah. Yeah, oh, that is so good. And when you load up your your PS4 and you have that come on, and just like, oh, I can just sit there and watch this all the, have that playing, man. It's so good. So, so you've what... kind of you, you've inadvertently touched on the one thing that's making me want a PS5 right now, and that's Final Fantasy 16 being timed exclusive. Yeah, that's... it's Final Fantasy. I can't mm. really. I mean, it might be a year exclusive. It might be more. That Project Athea, or Forspoken, as it's now called. Yeah. is a two-year exclusive mm. and um i don't think i can even wait a year for final fantasy so when that's nearing release i'll probably be trying to get oh, a ps5 yeah. i mean how shocked were you guys seeing that final fantasy remake was a, a free game on ps ps plus only I, what last month well, well, i couldn't believe I it I I could, month, yeah less I mean, than a year old it's, yeah are they because I think because they they're promoting the um the the the, re- the upgrade uh, upgrade so mm. they they get that's why they put it on the for for on PS Plus. But that's the thing is, if you though, get man. the PS 
if you get the PS Plus version, you can't upgrade it to the PS5. No. Yeah, yeah. You got to buy. Sucks. You got to buy a PS fucking five, <laughs> which no one can bloody get a, a, a hand their hands on at the moment. Yeah, but you'd have to buy a PS5 and then buy the game. I'll buy the, the PS game. Plus yeah, version yeah. doesn't upgrade. Yeah, I, I do wish Sony was a no. I do wish Nintendo and Sony were a bit more user uh, consumer friendly because I think that like Xbox are being a lot more consumer friendly uh, than the, this gen, last gen, and this gen. They're like, well, if you own it there, that can you get a free upgrade, you get this, you get that, you get the the um the, the boosts and everything like that. And like I know Nintendo are really stuck in their ways. That's what uh, a thing that annoys me about them. They're kind of stuck in their ways when it comes to like, especially like if you're playing a game on YouTube, you get a copyright strike or a claim on your video. So I kind of wish they would like move with the times because like we all love Nintendo and I think we get we let Nintendo get away with quite a lot. And I, I wish they it, under understood the word sell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, no, none of the first party fucking crucial. games go on sale, man. <laughs> two two words you need to understand. Sale and discount. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of those things ever happen. But one and thing I'd like Sony and Nintendo to do that Xbox does is take that compare a bit more seriously. Yeah. Because um, my Xbox library now is kind of like my Steam library. I've just got like games going back 20 years in there. Mm. and you know you know you, you buy you upgrade your pc or whatever and you load up an old game and you, you can play it you can like push the settings up you can push the res up you get faster frame rates and stuff like that you're getting a lot of that stuff with xbox now as well with them mm. kind of going back to old games mm. and giving them resolution patches and letting them run at unlocked frame rates and stuff mm. and that I, I i mean i can play ninja gaiden black from 19, 20 years ago at 4K60 on my Xbox mm. Series X. I'd, I'd love it if everyone did that. Yeah. Can you imagine like getting a play, like you get a PS5 and it lets mm. you play maybe yeah. not every game from the past, but like the selected sort of highlights from PS1, 2, 3, 4 on your PS5. Yeah. That'd be fucking amazing. And yeah. the same with Nintendo. Yeah. And Nintendo, I want you to sign up to bloody Nintendo Switch Online to play like 20 SNES games. Yeah. It's, it's not like, just sell them. I'll, yeah. I'll buy them. I mean, it's not great, but anyway, like, um, I think like we got to sort of end it there at the moment. So, um, last thoughts, Dan. Like, have you enjoyed your time on the podcast? We 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 kind of tolerated you, right? So, <laughs> I, you know, someone's got it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that two of you have done it is is yeah. it's beating my record. So, yeah. That's, that's amazing. I mean, we would like to have you back in some time in the future on the podcast. Uh, I'd, yeah, I'll be well up for it. I mean, yeah. I think that this conversation as well, like the topic on this podcast, is something mm. that could go on for like multiple it, hours. Yeah, and, um, you know, unfortunately, we, um, we can't go on for that long. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Ross. Well, first of all, we should also what? point out this was actually Dan's topic. So it was. That's yeah. why, we're, why we're discussing it. It was his idea. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, it's been good mm. to have a bit of a triangular yeah. chat going on yeah and good. um yeah and with that guys i think that's the end of the podcast thanks very much for listening and uh we'll see you see us or hear us again in the next two another two weeks we'll we'll be discussing another very important topic <laughs> you just have to tune in to find out what it is thanks for watching and thanks for listening we'll see you again bye